Hello, this is Dino from Ministry of Botany and today I'm going to show you how to fertilize your cypripedium or hardy slipper orchids in the early spring. Cypripediums are hardy slipper orchids which are hardy down to at least minus 20 degrees Celsius and this means they can be grown as garden plants in most parts of the UK, Europe and North America. There are two main groups of cypripediums. There are the Chinese cypripediums and in China the climate in the winter is dry and this means they're still perfectly hardy but they must be grown dry and the way I personally do this I keep them outside but I put them underneath a table or somewhere under cover that's also um, but it's actually not completely enclosed I do not suggest putting, putting them in a cold frame because a cold frame absorbs too much heat on the warmer days of the winter which triggers early growth and which in turn often triggers death as well, so which is not good. Underneath a table or something is ideal. And you also want to keep them just moist in the winter, not completely bone bone dry. If they start to get very very dry um, all the way through the pot, give it a little bit of water. And um, one trick for growing cypripediums really well, which most people do not do, is, you have, is that you have to fertilize them pretty heavily in the early spring, just before they start to grow. Um, and the way I personally do this, and many other growers do too, is we use standard fertilizer pellets um, which are designed for ordinary garden plants. So this is Miracle Grow. Um, this is what we call, you know, Osmocote fertilizing pellets by Miracle Grow. Uh, but you can use the equivalent of whatever you have in your own country. And fertilizing is really quite straightforward. Um, some of these are growing already as you can see, so I'm, I'm a little bit late. This should have really been done around two weeks ago, but never mind. We're going to do it now. So um, the way I do it is, you, you, I just take off kind of the top two or three centimeters of, of substrate until the roots start showing like this. The next Just open up your fertilizing granules and you want to take kind of a small handful that's a little bit too much so for a plant of this size you want to use roughly this many pellets and you just kind of sprinkle them on evenly now this seems like quite a lot because orchids are known as um, light feeding plants, but cypripediums, unless they get a lot of fertilizer when they're starting to grow, they will not grow correctly and they will also abort their flowers. So this is very, very important. Um, there was actually a little bit too many fertilizing pellets. That's roughly how many I use. You can see kind of in a quite a lot, fairly light distribution. And at this stage, you just want to replace the substrate. And what I like to do as well to give them a really good head start is to water them with a liquid fertilizer. Now this is um, Aiken Rain Mix, um, formulated specially for orchids, but you can use other orchid fertilizers as well, but Rain Mix is my favorite fertilizer. So get, just get it like this so the pot is completely soaked through. Yeah, in China and East Asia generally the springs and the summers are wet, so the plants will be expecting lots and lots of water now. Whereas the Cypripedium from Europe and North America, um, they like wet winter, so just keep them outside uncovered all the time. And I'm just going to repeat. Yeah. Just like so. Now this is Cypripedium tibeticum, a very beautiful species from China. So you can see there's nice big healthy green shoots just starting to grow. And I'll do exactly the same. And just sprinkle on nice and evenly. And then replace the substrate. It's quite a windy day today. Well, wind doesn't ever stop me or most gardeners. 
and we'll just do the same with this one. You can see this one is actually fairly advanced now. This really should have been fertilized um, a good at least one or two weeks ago, but never mind. Right now it's still okay. As I say, if you don't do this, it will not grow in flower properly. Um, Well-grown cypripediums will at least double in size every year. If they do not double and grow bigger and bigger, then you're not fertilizing enough. Okay. Yeah, so these two are now done. As I say, it seems like a lot of fertilizer, but most people do not fertilize them nearly enough, which causes many problems. And I'll just get it really nice and soaked. And then what I'll do now, I'll repeat exactly the same for all of these. And then I will move them to a north facing wall because cypripediums, they're woodland growing plants in quite dark areas of the woodland and they like kind of you know, a north facing wall or a similar shady position. Okay, so I've now repeated the process with all of my Chinese cypripediums and this is where I grow my hardy um, European and North American cypripedium species and hybrids. This is a north facing garage wall and I grow them outside here like this all year round. Now the Chinese ones, I've moved these Chinese ones here already and I'll move all the Chinese ones here now where they will stay for the entire summer and then in around November time I'll put them back under the table for dry winter rest. And you can see this is beautiful um, hybrid uh, that originates from North American and Euro European species. You can see nice big fat buds which are fertilized. So again exactly the same process. I mean and the only real difference in cultivation between the two types of cypripedium is one likes a dry winter, the other one likes a wet winter. Um, and once you kind of get your head around that, it's really pretty easy. Uh, and one thing I should have stressed earlier is please do not use organic fertilizer when fertilizing cypripedium. Um, especially do not use compost or manure ever, because if you use compost or manure, they rot off. And we think that's because the roots simply get overwhelmed with too many microbes in the soil all at once. So using organic fertilizer really does not work for these plants. Um, and the compost I use, I use 50% perlite, 50% horticultural pumice with just 5% good quality organic compost. If you use any more than about 5% organic compost, um, they tend to rot away. So there's the compost, that, well, there's a the substrate I personally use. I also know a gentleman who uses a mixture of John Innes number two, that's heat treated sterilized loam compost. Um, around 20 or 30 percent I think and the rest is just horticultural grit so really inorganic medium um, and yes yeah, so and when you fertilize please use fertilizing granules and also you know a liquid fertilizer as well if you wish but just nothing organic no compost and especially no manure you will rot them off straight away so now I've fertilized all these using exactly the same method and the last thing to do is just give them all a good drink of rain mix fertilizer and these will all flower uh, in May and June, and some will go into early to mid-July as well. Now, Cypripedium formosanum, the one I showed earlier, that one flowers before all the others. So that one flowers in about April time, and right now it's April. Um, and by most Cypripedium, they flower from May onwards. So, you know, so I would still be expecting them to be, um, you know, still be, you know, just coming out of dormancy now. I wouldn't expect them to start growing really before around April time. But there we go, nearly finished. Give them a really good drink for fertilizer. Yeah. And you want to keep them from now on, especially when they're in active growth, keep them moist and also put down some slug pellets because slugs are a real menace. You know, these nice juicy green shoots, slugs love them. So um, in a moment, I'm also going to put down some slug, uh, slug pellets to stop the slugs. And then that'll be all. And, and your task is only to keep them nice and moist. Um, keep Put, giving liquid fertilizer until they flower then you can just use normal rainwater um, to, to water them um, because demand for fertilizer once they actually flower is, it becomes very low but at this stage demand for fertilizer is very high and as I say I really need to stress if you don't give enough fertilizers at this stage they will not grow well and they will not flower well and even if you give fertilizer at a later date um, that problem will not correct itself for the rest of the growing season you have to wait until next year to try again so thank you very much for watching. I hope that's given you some tips how to look after your hardy cypripedium orchids and see you next time.